I think we're live. Uh, it says we're live. Um, apologies for the technical difficulties if that was awkward silence for any amount of time. But happy Friday, Mother's Day weekend. We are attempting our first official weekly member spotlight Zoom Facebook Live edition. Last week, Rebecca and I tested it out. Probably needed more than one test. Um, hope this isn't too sketchy, but I have a very, very good friend and fellow board member on deck today, Miss um, Oksana. I'm not going to pronounce her last name. I'm, try. I'm going to let her introduce herself here, but we are working very hard behind the scenes at the GCNKAA to stay connected to our members. This weekly member spotlight initiative has been on hiatus. We've been sharing some flashbacks over the last six or seven weeks and we found a way to come to you live through Zoom, um, which happens to be, I think, the new norm for most of us, how we've been running meetings and conducting business. So we're bringing this to you. Again, I apologize for any sketchy um, connection or start off to this, but Oksana, thank you so much for volunteering to be our um, inaugural Zoom Facebook Live Weekly Member Spotlight. We did talk to you very, very early on when we were doing post only spotlights because you were a board member and volunteered right. very early on to do that, but we never had a chance to sit down with you and do a video. No. So thank you again. I'd like to just start off by asking you maybe take a moment, introduce yourself and tell everybody out there who you are, where you work and what you do. Sure. Well, thank you so much, first of all, for inviting me to participate in this techie event. That's kind of cool. <laughs> We're all learning all kinds of new ways to communicate, and this is so yes. cool. Um, my name is Oksana. My last name is Lukianenko, but I try to, I always tell people, like, don't even try. It's just <laughs> too much to handle, and I, you know, there's not a lot of Oksanas in our, um, at least in our industry for now. I'm sure there will be um, uh, another one one day, hopefully not soon enough, so we don't have to. <laughs> because I'm sure another Oksana will have also some crazy names. So <laughs> um, I work for Denizen Management, mm -hmm. property management, third party management firm, um, specializing in property management and multifamily property management. And uh, we are in Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky, and even Omaha. Uh, and we're in Nebraska. And um, I love it. I love property management. Just very passionate about it um, and I found I think what connects me to people connects me to some um, just just a lot of management overall has always you know um, attracted me but I think property management is there's so much going on on daily basis right you wake up in the morning you just have no idea what you're going to face or right. what we've been uh, dealing with for the last uh, six weeks. Um, so it's, it's very, very interesting and dynamic, right? So never been more true than it is right this minute, huh? Yeah, absolutely. So two questions, how long have you been in the apartment industry and how did you get into the industry? Um, good question. Um, so I start, well, I first came to United States was, uh, 2000. It was summer okay. 2000. And um, I came here for just, was supposed to be just up to a year and a half. Um, I went to UC uh, mm -hmm. to get my universal accounting degree. My school actually sent me, um, sent me here um, to get my universal accounting degree. But here I am 20 years <laughs> later. Right? Yeah. So, to get myself through that time, through college, I um, got a job as a server. And, you know, it's probably many of us, right, during college. And very quickly, within a year or so, um, I was asked to manage that restaurant. And I was like, manage? What? I barely speak English, you know. <laughs> um, so th that's how I got into man uh, restaurant management, which I find a lot of parallels between oh, yeah. restaurant industry and our industry, right? Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, several years later, I was approached and by property management uh, group um, and they asked me to join them if I would be interested in joining property management I'm like property management is it even a thing like is it just leasing apartments through college I was already a server I don't want to you know I didn't think of it as an industry right mm -hmm. did I know <laughs> so um, so it's been what 15 15 years or so wow so you started out on site 
inside. Yep. Leasing apartments, became a manager, and now you're the vice president at Denison. I am. I am. So so strange to even to, to even say that. I, I don't like when people say vice president. Yeah. Just it really <laughs> intimidates me. So I um yeah, it's been a wild ride. Well, what's one of your most memorable stories from being in the business all these years? Wow. Um I maybe last six weeks. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, a trip to DC and you know, uh, March 10th, 11th, whatever it was of this year. So I kind of say, like, you know, my life before DC and after DC. So that was very, um, I think it's the one that just comes to mind. It was so interesting to be in Washington, DC during the time when everything was just blowing up, right? Right. News and all the numbers. I mean, we country basically got shut down while I was in DC. So, mm-hmm. um, had, you know, we didn't know or didn't expect it to unravel, of course, the way it did. So it was, but it was amazing. I actually very um, grateful that I was there during that time because so many industry professionals, we were there together. We were able to discuss it and see it and, you know, um, speak to our leaders on Capitol Hill. Um, that that was definitely a memorable experience. Property. Yeah, I, I bet. I, I knew a few people in DC at that time. Mm-hmm. And that, that's really when it kind of imploded here with yeah. the COVID situation. So that's fascinating. It was, it was, for the rest of our lives, it will be pre and post. Oh, absolutely. So DC. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was what, what Thursday the 12th. I believe it was Thursday. We're sitting mm-hmm. in the office of Mitch McConnell and talking to Mitch McConnell, you know, about... Wow everything and you know um was supposed to be about the industry really but it ended up of course being about coronavirus and and and, and the industry so it was right. it, it was fascinating wow but, well um with the experience that you've had Oksana I'm sure you've um collected some very helpful advice along the way what is the piece of advice that you would offer to the folks who are just getting started in this industry um, stay true to yourself. You know, there is no, um, we're all the same, you know, and if anything, especially with the coronavirus situation, I realize more than ever that we're connected on so many levels as humans, you know, to being, being human, being compassionate and being kind and relating to people, um, is what I, I value the most in myself and in people. You know, the company. just look at us, you know, uh, in our industry and many industries probably, you know, we help each other. We, you know, there's no even a question of some kind of competition. You know, we, we've realized that by helping each other and by being close to each other and by um, showing kindness and compassion, I think that's, that's how you achieve the most in life. So if, if anything, I would just say, just stay true to yourself and don't ever burn bridges and just be kind to people. Very good advice. Life and professional advice. <laughs> All right. Well, can we switch gears and get to know you a little bit more on a personal level? Sure. Let's do it. All right. Well, I see some pictures of some lovely people behind you. So tell us a little bit about your family. Uh, well, this is not family. I wish I have, a, <laughs> I, I don't know. So this room is my office and I spent a lot of time here in the last six, six weeks. Yeah. I like to, you know, um, decorate it up a little bit to make it, you know, more exciting to be here. Yeah. Not a lot of family members, but, um, actors and well, one, of oh, the, okay. uh, one of the, one of my favorite movies and stories about Anna Karenina and I kind of decorated her little, oh. um, Piece from the magazine. So I'm kind of just going to remind myself of people, movie stars, or, or um, things and quotes and stuff just to kind of make it. Um, well, that's cool. Yeah. Family wise, I have, um, have two daughters. One is 17. Her name is Cassie. Um, and the other one is five. Her name is Vivian. So there's Aww. a lot of, of um, age difference. Um, and it's, it's, I, I, if I could, um, you know, if I, I could only go back and realize how different having a child later in life would be compared to um, very early in life, in 22, 23, how quickly 
it go time goes by right and i remember being you know holding her my first one and like oh, there's so many years ahead and there's just the life is going to be you know right little forever right it's a very different experience having child that early in life and then later in life mm -hmm. both sides both I, I wouldn't change it for anything so. so do does cassie help with vivian a lot or do they have a oh yeah oh yeah she, i'm she's sure she's a teenager you know of course she has her wife and friends and boyfriend but uh she's like a little little i don't know maybe aunt or second mom or she just they have a great relationship but mm -hmm. she, a lot and it's it's great dynamic to see between two of them and the little one just adores oh i bet and looks up to her and yeah it's definitely the greatest joy being oh i bet in, well, what do you, you know. like to do in your spare time with the family or on your own oh uh, cool. well um yeah spare time sounds good <laughs> <laughs> what's that <laughs> i haven't had a lot of that but you know um last year I purchased my first home uh, became a homeowner uh, which was very exciting for me. So I kind of got into gardening. I've never planted anything in my life before. I've never yeah. done anything like that, but I'm actually started with some flowers last year, but this year I'm attempting some strawberries and tomatoes and nice. I don't know, so strange, but that's what, that's what I do on the evenings, okay. of, you know, still light outside, right? Right. And there's some time. I want to see what I can do with uh, with the garden. Yeah, so that's, that's very interesting. I can keep barely anything alive. I have a plant I've had for an entire year now. It's the only thing in my entire life that I've kept alive for a year, and so I'm holding out hope. Same with me. So I'm I'm shocked that I'm actually yeah. attempting it because I have a lot of artificial and like right you know, same alive but um you know a couple flowers survived last year so i'm hopeful that I, i'll get a couple of strawberries if my rabbit yeah. I also realized that rabbits they can be really cute but they like to you know destroy your plants <laughs> right <laughs> well speaking of rabbits do you have pets at all oksana i do i have two shih tzus oh yeah we should we should have for a cameo sorry i didn't think ahead Right, so they're downstairs, um, and I'm actually glad because they really need um, a grooming section. Well, session. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they really up. Well, I actually took one yesterday to um, Indiana because mm -hmm. groomers have been able to operate. Oh, okay. So that's it. I can't. You know, he's almost a year old, and he has amazing, huge hair, but it's gotten so bad um, that they had to completely shave. Right. Him down like he's like a naked you know one of those cats <laughs> you know naked so i don't think it's a good time to show him today just because he looks like of course but um that's good to know though for future people since we're doing yes thing um we're gonna have some cameos maybe introduce your family show your pets that's, oh yep <laughs> i think we should what are your Kids dog's names um chewbacca is the youngest <laughs> chewy um, and the oldest one is Kuza. It's like a, it's a Russian name and it's um, Putin character. I like that. Cool. Um, well, what about pets, Oksana? Are you a, or not pets, sorry, sports. Are you a sports fan? Do you follow any sports at not all? Not really. No, I, um, I love a good football game. I don't really have necessarily, um, you know, a team that, I, of course, I would love for Bengals to become one of those teams that I'd be like cheering on, right? Here's to hoping. Right? Um, but yeah, a good football game. Uh, growing up, I played basketball and soccer. Yeah. Even even to this day, 20 years later, it's still kind of bothers me to say soccer because to us, it was football, right? Football, yeah. <laughs> so for a long time, I was like, what does it have to do with the foot and the ball? Why are you guys stealing our name? Because right. Very little to do with the foot and the ball, maybe three times in the game, <laughs> three, four. Right. <laughs> yes, but it's going to be really exciting when we get the FC uh, Cincinnati yes. and have yes, a have a to do here yeah. in our town for I football. Agree. So. I can't wait. Yep. Yeah. Well, what about um, food or restaurants? What's one of your uh, favorites? And you can say local favorite or just in general. Hmm. Um, I'm. I'm not picky at all. I love yeah. I love seafood, sushi. Yeah. Um, there's a every time I go to Indiana, 
Yeah. Caramel. There's a best meatballs and Brussels sprouts. Oh, yeah. It's blue. Amazing meatballs and Brussels sprouts. And I know What's the name of the restaurant? Mimi's Blue. Mimi's Blue. Hmm. Yeah. It's a home, homemade, amazing meatballs. Brussels sprouts are even better. And people, you know, at the corporate office, if you're watching now or later, you know, <laughs> you hate the smell. So <laughs> I make sure every time I go, I, 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 That's I, funny. I just make, make them happy. Too. Yeah. Brussels sprouts, when prepared correctly, are better than amazing steak even. I mean, I can't. Yeah. Can't agree more on that front. Well, let's ask about just maybe reading. I've read any good books? Or are you an avid reader? I loved, you know, I used to be. Yeah. It's easier to listen to a book now, but it's not right. experience. Um, but I actually picked up a few books lately just because, you know, there's some time and then right. I'm reading um, a book called Lilac Girls. I highly recommend. Amazing book by Martha Hall Kelly. Um, it's a novel. I'm usually you see like all kinds of leadership books, property mm -hmm. management or something, you know, accounting, but I actually decided to read some fiction books. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I love it. So. Lilac Girls, I'm going to write that down. Lilac Girls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need a, a novel-ish book to read. The last several books have been more business related. I'm like, I want to slow it down and do something that's more entertaining. Yeah. That's exactly what I thought. Fabulous. That's probably one of my favorite questions here. I have had so many great um, recommendations of books to read over the last year or so of doing this. And I've picked up a few here and there or listened to them. Um, yeah. and it's mm -hmm. Fantastic. So thanks for that. What about TV? Do you watch so much TV? And if so, what's one of your favorite shows or movies? Well, um, movies, I love going to movies. Obviously, haven't been able to. None of us, right? I watched an amazing movie last weekend. Just never heard of it, but many people say they watched it and loved it too. Knives Out. Knives Out. How about of that? Awesome. Is it, it a show amazing. or a movie? It's a movie. Okay. Um, What's the guy? Daniel Craig. The guy, uh, James Bond guy. James Bond. Yep. Really blue eyes. I, um, he was in it, and the girl uh, from Thirteen Reasons Why. It was just one of those, you know. Um, who done it like old kind of like uh, uh, drama. I mean, it was amazing. It was really good. Well, I wrote that down too. Wonderful. Well, what's one of the best concerts that you've been to, Oksana? Concerts. Well, um, last in the last 12, one was last year, one maybe early this year, um, Elton John and Celine Dion. I mean, the two, most amazing. Two, I mean, it was like within two, three months of each other, but I can't say enough. I mean, it was almost overwhelming. To Where did you see Elton John? U.S. Bank Arena. Oh, okay. It was amazing. Pittsburgh, it was unbelievable. my all-time favorite. Goosebumps, even now, just mm -hmm. the, yeah, is unbelievable. Just the performer and the voice. And of course, Celine was awesome. Oh, wow. It, her voice was so iconic. Cool. Yeah, iconic for sure. And the way she can grab attention of the entire mm -hmm. Um, arena. It was just fascinating to see. Oh, wow. Well, well that's yeah, fantastic. That's I hope concerts concert. start back up again. I know. Me too. Ugh, several have been canceled that I had planned to see uh, yeah. in 2020. So I'm um, the last thing on my concert calendar is Billy um, Joel in September. And I'm like, please. I know. The, I don't know what I'll do. Well, you might have to sing for us, Melissa. Ah, ha, ha, no. <laughs> Can't compete with the icons. But hey, since you brought that up, I keep saying now that we've got this Zoom thing, I think maybe we should try some karaoke event. Like, yes, karaoke. I event, think it's a great like idea. That. Okay, yes. I'm going to call you. We're going to have to organize Let's that. Let's do it. I keep telling you, like, I've heard about you singing. You're singing. <laughs> I cannot wait. So you guys keep well, watching. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Well, what is one of the most memorable vacations that you've taken? Vacation sounds so good right now, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. A daydream about vacation. <laughs> I know. So yeah, so hopefully maybe we'll still be able to somehow this this year. Um, Turks and Caicos by far. Oh yeah. Go three summers ago. Um, my friends were not able to go. Her mom was sick or there was some family situation and um, she asked me if I can, if I'd like to purchase it for 50% of what she paid. And I was like, wow. yes, please. Yeah. Didn't really know much about Turks and Caicos, you know, Virgin Islands. Um, mm -hmm. 
gut there, the color of the water. I always thought it was photoshopped, right? That turquoise blue mm -hmm. color uh, and the white sand. Uh, I mean, unbelievable. My 17 year old was back then was 14 and she would just cried Aww. leaving like it was the best thing ever and she keeps saying like I don't know I don't know if we'll ever have that opportunity again but I I promised myself I'll go back at least for one a couple of days it was beautiful yeah you know what I you're the third person I know who has been there and has said the exact same thing like you literally couldn't believe how you, you just think you're not in that you know like some magazine cover you just oh, think wow. it cannot be true it cannot be real it just amazing and and to go for half price oh my goodness yeah it was you just can't get over that yep what so a great a perfect vacation especially with our busy lifestyle right Beach sounds yeah i love I know, traveling right? i love seeing new cities but nothing's better than just you know some motion and the smell yeah and the sound and some sand yeah so hopefully maybe this year maybe even a couple day trip to florida mm -hmm. I had a vacation planned to leave on May 29th with my family and we're uh, acknowledging the reality that that's not going to happen. And the crazy thing is you can't even plan right now. So, no. it's, you know, we're doing lots of day no. making a vision board of what well, we're Hey, doing. still, there's still some time left. There might be yes. I think beaches are opening up and we shall see. It's tough yeah. with this one. Like I, I, I wouldn't necessarily feel concerned myself, but I'm not sure how I feel about taking, you know, my son anywhere just yet. So see the new normal, right? You just like, right. am I okay to make that step? Or if I'm not, I, I know. Step with people, you know, it's just, it's a very, very um, different new normal, right? It is for sure. Getting through it. Just um, a couple more questions that I wanted to ask you. Share a random detail one would know about you if it weren't for this opportunity to talk to you through the weekly members. Mm. I don't know. I hate mice. I, if you see me, like I can do snakes, I, it's roaches, anything. But if you <laughs> show me a little mice anywhere near me, if I see it, I mean, I will be on the table somewhere screaming. I don't know why, but I just can, I'm just terrified. Did you have like a traumatic experience or you just don't like them? I just, I don't know, maybe as a child, maybe something, <laughs> I cannot stand those things. That's funny. <laughs> That's very funny. Yes. Um, all right. Don't well, to bring one to the next like board meeting or something. Just yeah, know. seriously. Well, I, downstairs, my son who has a small zoo, um, he has, I for, fancy mice, I forget what they're called. Uh -huh. He has two and I do not, I don't want to see them. I can barely handle knowing that they're here but he has them as pets in a little cage uh -huh. and, yeah uh, not a friend yeah well kid you know it's um yeah that's uh, what color are they white little tiny mice. white like little, little Stuart little looking you know the movie character Stuart little looking mice but yeah I he like picks him up and like he doesn't really play too much with that. We have, again, like a small zoo. He has turtles, uh -huh. a bearded dragon, a hedgehog. Turtles are cool. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a little bit of everything. But Good for him, brave person. kid. <laughs> I know. You're not the first person who I've um, heard say uh, mice. I draw the line at mice. I know. Well, why is that? I don't know. But I just, I just cannot stand them for some reason. And that's funny. Well, is there anything else, Oksana, that you would like to share with us for this weekly member spotlight? I, I know that, again, this is a unique um, interview, and I really appreciate you sharing your time and us getting to it's know you. It's been fun. I know. It's been fun. Well, I, you know, if anything, I would like to say thank you to GCKA. Um, I think more than ever, um, all of us, and I, I'll be the first, you know, I want to make sure I'll say it, how much value they bring to property management companies. I mean, I cannot imagine surviving the way we did last six weeks and with the amount of resources and support and information. And um, more than ever, um, I realized how much, how awesome it is to be a part of this. And also the people and, you know, the colleagues and how, you know, supportive has everyone been. and. Um, yeah, it's just been a great, uh, even though such a tragic and difficult time, right? There's a lot of, a lot to say about the positive sides and, and things, the good things that we can recognize and take with us, right? So the relationships, 
and so the organization and the help and support that's been provided to all of us has been awesome. So I'm very, very grateful. Well, thank you for that. And I would so reiterate that it's been really inspiring to see everyone continuing to work behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. We all have, you know, day jobs and right. um, lives that we're trying to manage as well. And so the fact that literally every person I've encountered in this organization has made it a priority to stay connected and to stay together. And Amazing. Leon, I know Oksana, you're on a text chain with uh, one of our mutual friends and we're yeah. sharing information and yeah. sharing jokes and sharing, you know, what are you doing in this situation? What are you doing in that yeah. situation? And that started just very organically because we all understand the value of the relationships that we've created through this organization. No doubt. GCNKAA has not shut down. Not one day have they been mm -hmm. unavailable for us. Continuous yeah. updates, continuous news stories and resources. And we're still very actively planning the business exchange event, yep. the associate council is meeting every single month, and all of the committees are continuing to meet. The boards continue. Absolutely. To meet. Yeah. We're just figuring it out because that's what we do in this business, right? Exactly. You, you figure it out. You just... Yeah. Way. And then, you know, how many wonderful new things we'll be able to experience, right? Exactly. Um, so, I think yes. we'll make the world a smaller place. With yeah, maybe a better place. <laughs> That's right. Maybe closer, not maybe face to face necessarily, but other ways and maybe even closer and more connected to each other. Well, and I'll tell you the perspective that we've all gained. I, I won't take um, for granted the opportunity to sit down and have lunch with someone. Um, I won't take for granted the opportunity to go to a networking event, grab a glass of wine to, you know, say hello in person to people after having, you know, been kind of yeah. like a Zoom yeah. meeting. Exactly. Yeah. So I think perspective is um, abundant right now, for sure. A hundred percent. And we all realize that maybe we don't need as much of activity and and things and just mm -hmm. you know we can be okay and happy just with a lot less and that's right be successful and be happy with maybe a lot less so uh, at the end Words of the day of wisdom yeah well thank you again i really so, appreciate your time oksana thank you sorry for the glitch at the beginning but i'm so so thankful that it's been perfect took your friday afternoon to chat with us so we'll do more of this um if anyone from denison wants to be a spotlight please uh send them our way we'd love to get about uh, your colleagues there and if anybody else wants to join this initiative via zoom um reach out we'll get you on the schedule Again, happy Mother's Day to you, Oksana, and happy thank you. Same to you and everybody who's mothers. watching. Oh, yes, thank you. So much. I heard him uh, earlier. I'm like, please do not come. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> Barreling into this room right now. But I hope everyone gets to take a break this weekend um, and celebrate yourself as a mother or your own mother uh, or your family. And uh, we look forward to coming back to you live next Friday. Um, and in the meantime, everyone enjoy your time uh, at home. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you, bye, everybody.